hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel and we're going to be talking about today uh porsche's family matters um porsche family matters season one episode six child i thought this was done and and over with <coughs> but they showed the fight in its entirety they showed porsche throwing microphone stands she was throwing plates glasses and all of it was headed for dennis head now i did see that and in the confessionals <coughs> dennis said that portia lunged at his mom and he didn't want the after effects coming after that lunge something else so he got in between the two of them while mama gina went on downstairs now we already know because we heard portia just spewing out hate for his mom and she could have said some more sly stuff that just kept infuriating dennis because even he said in his confessionals damn he loved all of them he loved portia he loved his mama and he loved his baby pj you know so what can he do <coughs> so I think he did the appropriate thing was to guard his body by protecting both, you know, Portia getting into his mama's ass or getting onto her some physical way because I think it would have been unforgivable if Portia would have connected in some way, whether grabbed her, punched her, whatever. That would be something that Dennis probably couldn't forgive Portia for. So I give him kudos for going in taking the hits and stuff and trying to hold Portia back from lunging and making that lunge her diving on mama uh Gina he was trying to prevent something from happening because it was getting out of hand so I applaud him for that now how Storm got in the mix I don't know I think Storm just threw herself in the mix trying to get a paycheck you know what I'm saying because people that got sense they finna get in the center of a fight uh, regarding two people. And he ain't got shit to do with them. They gonna stay on the sidelines and keep talking that yang 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 shit. You know, you know what I'm saying? From the sidelines. But they ain't finna jump in the middle of people swinging, throwing shit and all that. Now who's to say <coughs> that some of them scratches that uh, Storm put out didn't happen at the hands of her cousin Portia. Because to me... Her and Porsche was on the same side, and it seems to me from the opticals or from how I'm looking at the positioning of what was taped um, and shown to us as a picture, Storm was right in the middle. So when you get in the middle, it's like getting in the middle of a hurricane or a tornado. What the hell you think going to happen to you? Everything going to come at you. Uh, from every angle and you ain't gonna know where blows hit but you know it's one person you can blame because they snatched your wig off now was that a good move for dennis he probably wanted to do more work to her just out of anger and frustration and she just kept getting on getting on his nerves you know what i'm saying pushing buttons is what storm and um Portia was doing at the time and a, a human being can only take so much okay we're human you know what i'm saying and half the time it's fight or flight so by own instinct if somebody hits you your reflex is going to try to hit them back that's just how we work as humans not saying it's right but the first person that throw that first swing or throw them both the other person is in re the receiving end of those blows and they going to want to reciprocate meaning put hands back on that particular person all right that's just how the law of physics works that's just the law of behavior and demeanor works we just can't change it you know what i'm saying unless we just self-involved and we'd be like meditating on another higher plane you know like we don't separate from our bodies and it doesn't matter what's being thrown at us we're gonna be staying in that same calm state I ain't met nobody that could do that that I could physically see and try to embody, embodilize or how you call it, uh, embody that type of restraint from putting paws on somebody or putting my hands to you know, making some connection with another individual that's infringing on my space, my private space. I haven't learned that way of dealing with people, you know. Because I'm like, you hit me, I'm hitting you back. <laughs> this is pretty much as it is. You slap me, I'm slapping you back. I haven't evolved that uh, high consciousness uh, to just say, okay, you hit me, I'll turn the other cheek. You hit that cheek, I'll turn the other one so both of them can be hit. And even though it's biblical, 
And, and that's what the Lord want us to do because he want to fight our battles and this, that, and third. And definitely he can get people back uh, in ways that you cannot even imagine. He does it perfectly. You know what I'm saying? But, mm, you know, like I said, we're human. That's why we pray every day, every second of the day for some of us. Uh, and repent because we ain't all what we should be and we ain't all what we say we want to be okay we we, we backslide a lot we backslide and I, I i can tell you i backslide a lot too i do too and i had to repent because i say some things you know to think things to people or, 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 or it, it, issues or whatever and i'm like dog i shouldn't have said that or i should have did this better you know we wrestle with our uh, thoughts at the end of the day or where we could have went better in certain situations okay we human we have flaws but we need to do better we need to practice on doing better so that's the base basic thing you can do if given another day is to do better so i think how these scratches came up on this little young girl uh, because all they had, all three of them had catalysts in this whole thing. They set up a plot or a stage scene. It just got way out of hand. Okay, because they, you already knew them two had problems from the get go. Before they even called themselves going on a trip, they were already arguing. So, and then that one in the paint that calls herself a religious leader and all that kind of stuff, she just full of bullshit and, and, and air, hot air. Because ain't no way she could be a Christian and sitting over there getting in other people's religions and partaking and then gonna talk about them, you know. Because she even made on that last, uh, last Sunday, uh, even spoke out of the spiritual leader talking, you better get advised and you better get up and get advised. How you gonna tell somebody to do something? You ain't on their payroll. You just a guest, just like she is. So, shame on you, Miss Elizabeth. Shame on you. And like I said, you, you won there for just for a paycheck and get more money for uh, your daddy's company that you're running uh, because he's deceased and he left it in your hands to continue to do the good works. But you full of shit too. I'm going to get to you eventually throughout this uh, thing. But we're going to go into scene one. Um, the whole thing was titled Portia Family Matters season episode one, episode six. And it was titled Guess, I'm sorry, Ghost of Portia's Past. It might have been called uh, Ghost of Portia's Past, Present, and Future, okay? Because she still got some demons connected to her. And she want to keep them, it seems like. But, um, honey, Portia called Dennis' mom a bitch-ass mother. Oh, I'm like, what? She called Dennis' mom a bitch-ass. I'm like, see, them fighting words right there. <laughs> them are fighting words. And if Dennis probably had too much to drink... Who he probably had a connection, but people were putting them back, and he was thinking about his businesses and how things are gonna make him look after this taping has been, you know, edited out to make him look bad or whatever. But you know, like I said, I feel he controlled himself in an uncontrollable situation, you know, because he could have struck out, he could have laid Portia to the floor. Of course, he'd been in handcuffs in jail and all that kind of stuff, and that's what Portia wanted. Because you remember, she did tell us that uh dennis well after they finished taping that she did have pj with her because i think it was some underlying information being led on social media ways that portia's traveling a lot without her daughter and to, to, uh portia came back to let us know she always held pj with her and this that and the third i'm like well you don't need to be having her over there in costa rica all the time but we still trying to figure out what businesses your husband have over there to be up there in an airbnb rented leasing thing staying in call himself conducting business but your boyfriend ain't showing us um no business savvy skills his tools his employees his work where where is it honey <sighs> but anyway i digress but she was trying to say they stayed another week in mexico after the taping had completed because she wanted to spend some time but in actuality what you wanted to do was put dennis in jail that's why you and um uh, your boyfriend Dennis, I mean your boyfriend um, Simon, y'all stayed an extra week because you wanted the Mexicans uh, to put Dennis in jail for everything that has been shown to us on this last um, episode and the episode before that, okay? You and Storm were trying to put that boy in jail. You were trying to put your baby daddy in jail. Now, how are you going to have funds for your daughter if your uh if her dad is in jail and are you kidding me you started it you were the catless portia of all the hollering all the yelling all the dismissal all the getting up from the table all trying to escort him out yourself and his mother and then you're gonna call her a bitch ass girl 
that was enough right there for somebody to get a hold of you. And to get quiet as it's kept, loud as I'm going to speak it out. You know, I was just say, Mama Gina and, and Porsche, just go at it. Just go on and fight each other. We ain't put nobody in jail. It just seemed like y'all need to get y'all hostilities out. Just go on and fight. Now, I'm pretty sure Mama Gina would have dragged Porsche all over that flow like she had Kenya dragging on that flow. Okay? And she would have been hollering and carrying on. But that's just my thoughts. Okay? I don't condone violence, but it's like I'm getting tired of both of them. You know, just go on, get them a ring, get them some open space, and let them have at each other. Okay? Maybe they'll feel better. Maybe they'll feel better. Okay? But anyway, that was just my thoughts. Moving on. Uh, uh, then after this so-called fight or catastrophe or chaos that happened that night, Portia called herself calling everybody after everything had settled and everybody went back there to their rooms and trying to figure out and ascertain what the hell happened. You know, were we drunk? Did we see what we thought we saw? Or did everybody, everybody was drunk but then they came out of their drunken stupidness because Portia had brought them out with all this foolishness she was throwing, throwing plates, throwing uh, microphone stands, throwing glasses, all that shit was happening. And Portia was the one throwing all this stuff okay forget whether she was trying to lunge get a hold of miss gina she was throwing uh, uh, um material that could have hit and damaged anybody in the wake of portia trying to get to dennis okay she could have hurt somebody seriously are we forgetting that while we trying to say well mama gina well uh portia was trying to jump or uh, get mama gina okay if that wasn't the case she was lunging at somebody but dennis clarified it for us he said portia was lunging uh making an assumption that she was going to put bodily harm because of her actions because of her demeanor or what he felt she was trying to do he felt his mother was threatened so he got in the middle of it all so while that was happening he tried i think he said he grabbed porsche or maybe somebody said he grabbed porsche to stop her from doing all these things homegirl just got away from him just thought want to do work on him throwing the plates throwing the glasses throwing just everything she probably would have tore off the wall uh and through the wall that if she could disconnect it you know what I'm saying? she was acting like hulk over there the female hulk version but like I said, it was is what it was, okay? And and, and uh, Paul Simon, he couldn't even wrestle with Portia. It's like he was getting tired. She was wrestling with him on the sofa, trying to break away free from him so she could get a hold of Dennis again. And, and he was like he was out of breath. I even felt sorry for Simon. I said, you want to marry her? This commotion, chaotic woman, you really want to go around her, be married to her, and she might even put you in a respiratory situation because she likes to fight. She loves, she's a runner, she's a track star. She likes to drink, and when she wants to put hands on people, Simon, you ain't going to be able to save her from everybody. So I don't know. <laughs> I think you need to just bow out gracefully gracefully and get the hell on or just date Portia for the rest of y'all relationship because you can't handle her you could bet you couldn't even hold on to her tight okay she was getting slipping away from you because you didn't have the energy baby you didn't have the energy to to wrestle with this woman because she was acting like a wild tiger you know and I don't think she saw was red and she wanted to get she I don't think she really wanted to get Dennis I mean um mama Gina she probably wanted to slap her outside the head or in the mouth or whatever. But she really wanted to get a hold to Dennis. Which I understand why she wanted to fight female power with male power. That never understood me. Because you're going to have to have a lot to drop down a man that's enraged. Okay? It ain't going to just be your hands. You need to be picking up tables, chairs, anything heavy to disable this man real quickly. Because that man going to end up hurting you. Okay? Putting you in the hospital. Because you might be in a coma. Depending on how powerful his, his, his hit would be towards you. But Portia was a hot mess. But she, uh, she had called everybody in the family on her side and told them not to say anything. Don't tweak about it. Don't be on their social media platforms talking about it and definitely when we start back taping tomorrow do not say anything about last night adventures so everybody like okay 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 so it is what it is but um Portia was running around there. I said she was. I mean, if if you would have saw her as being an actress or maybe whatever, she was one of the L D lister actresses because she could not get it together. So on the next day, okay, 
uh, they paired everybody off. They sent Miss Gina, Dennis, and Dennis Mistress or work that he had brought along to Cancun, Mexico. So they was over there doing their thing, you know, relaxing, chilling. And Portia them was at the same place that they were at, and they were filming another scene because they had brought in another coach, uh, some black lady called herself. Gonna get them straightened out. It was a wasted scene because I'm still trying to figure out why she was there. Because they weren't trying to learn anything. And they shouldn't have been there in the first place. Just like somebody said. I, it might have been Miss Liz. Uh, she, she, it should have been. They didn't have to go nowhere. They didn't have to take no trip. You know because they weren't. Of course she's not civilized right now. Because if she really wanted to be civilized. It could have just been Dennis. One of his works. Portia. The baby. Minnie PJ. And um what's his name Simon and they could have had a lovely trip or, or whatever if this was somebody Dennis was really interested in she could have been a part of the conversations but if it was just somebody that he was casually dating and wasn't going to be around his baby girl he could have brought her but kept her off camera you know what I'm saying she wasn't going to be a, a, a statement or a uh permanent fixture in his life Cause ain't no sister pj trying to know all his works and their names and stuff like that because then that's going taking portrait back into her childhood where her daddy used to go visit his girlfriends from what she said in chapter two um and she had to sit there and watch all these women uh her daddy interact with all these women and they weren't her mother and they weren't her stepmothers uh you know being in the midst of it you know he was dating people uh, uh, behind their backs you know what i'm saying so Portia uh, knows far too well about that situation. Then we have Lauren, uh, Portia's sister. You know, she's delusional. She thinks everything is back on track and all this kind of stuff. And she's trying to, you know, bring in, like I said, another therapist to come and help them. And that's just totally bullshit. Lauren need to go to some counseling herself and stop trying to counsel people. Because hurt people can't hurt, can't help people. You know what I'm saying? They have to finally come in agreeance of what they're going through and, and spend some time with themselves and developing themselves and following their growth before they can sit there and help other people so Lauren need to just sit this shit down sit herself down and, and, and stay off Real Housewives of Atlanta as well okay she need to just go and get a career uh, and, and, and leave this entertainment stuff alone because it ain't for her uh, then we got Portia you know it's acting like uh, she don't know what or what happened last night and this, that, and the third. And the producer come in and say, wait a minute. Y'all full of shit. We ain't gonna talk about this. We ain't gonna talk about the fight that happened last night. Why are y'all so cold shoulder to that? Don't you think y'all need to be discussing that? Y'all talking about moving ahead. And that's a shame. That's a shame for a white man to come in, the producer, <laughs> and tell y'all, look. The big elephant in, this, in the room is what happened last night. And all y'all going to get amnesia and act like y'all don't want to discuss that or tell the therapist what's going on and what happened last night. Y'all don't want to discuss that. He was getting downright in the nitty gritty. I'll feel for it. I'll feel for it. And crazy ass else is going to come out and say, well, I was called by Porsche and told not to talk about it. <laughs> I said, this is your, your mother's friend sitting up there. Telling it for all the people you told not to tell. And she putting you on front street. And this is this is the people you got that's holding you down that want the best for you. Okay, she was singing like a canary. Like they had her in jail somewhere. And they were saying, you either going to tell us you're going to jail. You're going up the real for 5, 10, 12, 20 years. Uh, or you could cut this plea deal. And she was like, uh-uh, give me the plea deal because I'm finna sing. I'm finna sing like a canary. It was Portia. Portia told us not to talk about it. <laughs> I would like, I would have sent Miss Elsa on the next plane smoking back to Atlanta, okay? And would have cut her all out of my family ties because she don't know. She's a, she's a, oh, what do you call her, snitch. And snitches get stitches. Snitches get, wait a minute, snitches get stitches in my daughter's voice, okay? That was funny as hell. I said, out of all the people, I would have thought Dom would have said something. But shortly after, Miss uh, London Head was saying the same thing. That, uh, hey, we trying to protect our best interests. But, yeah, it was Portia told us not to say anything. But, it is what it is. Okay. Um, then, 
Liz, Auntie Liz, sitting up there looking stupid like they putting her in jail too by asking her does she not want to talk about it and she looking all stupid. I'm like, this is the one time you're not going to say anything? you always talking about the spiritual advisors. you always talking about Portia need to do better. You don't want to say nothing now? You ain't, you ain't incriminating yourself, okay? Because you already don't show us how you feel about Portia, which is bull. She, she shit in your eyes and she would never be the cream of the crop with you all, okay? So, I was too through with her. Uh, but I'm just like, ugh, producer, get on them. Get on their asses because they're trying to hide. They're trying to hide the truth. And uh, I don't even know what Storm was. Was she there uh, when they were going through this? I can't remember. Maybe they took her off camera because she was talking about suing folks and shit like that. And Barbara ain't finna let nobody sue them. Uh-uh, it's in the clause. You can't sue them. So, they probably have to get her a little extra in her check. For that particular episode. And probably buy her new front lace wig. But other than that, she ain't getting shit. Okay. Then, everybody comes back from the trip. You know, everybody back at home. Plus, she goes to see her mama. Diane gonna act like she destitute. All, you know, in her little belt constraints. I'm guessing because she had back problems or whatever. But she sure ate them wings that Portia called herself bringing to her mom. Um, and they were discussing things and but uh of course of course Porsche were lying to her mama, not telling her the truth of the scenario and uh pitting Miss Gina as the bad person again and of course Mama Diane was on Portia's side because really Portia owns her now because of the failed businesses attempts or business attempt that Portia had to pay off. I guess she does have her mom in her pocket. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go catch that video where I say it's, um, I think it's titled Portia Williams' mom fails miserably at her business or something to that degree. Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all will find it because y'all are smart individuals. Okay, then we got, um, Portia visits Aunt Liz at their new center of the Jose Williams uh, food bank bank camp or whatever institute or um, you know warehouse and she's saying that her father's company is the number one in the region or whatever this that and a third of food banks uh, across the country or whatnot or definitely in Atlanta and she was telling Portia about you know she should have did better she know better she should have did better and uh you know like i said miss liz pay both sides she say good things about simon she say good things about dennis and she don't know we're gonna cast miss liz on out the picture hopefully she'll never be seen again because she she's double-minded very double-minded person and i can't get with that uh she talks to uh portia about sacrificing you know some things uh because she says she ain't ready she ain't ready to emulate or embody the williams uh hierarchy um and the ranks of how they hold their demeanor and character in high esteem uh because the public is always watching them and they have to look pristine but she pretty much told Portia she's not ready she's not ready for the throne she's not ready to be welcomed into the Williams legacy even though it is her legacy it's waiting on her to be a part of but she just can't she won't allow it to happen at this time because she feels Portia hasn't grown Portia needs to grow more she needs to sacrifice more instead of being uh mesmerized with all this materialistic wealth around her and that's what she's searching and wanting to be a part of she said that's not what the Williamses are all about so pretty much she dialed Portia in front of her face and Portia did not catch that or if she caught it she tried to make like it went over her head and she was basically trying to say you need to get back with Dennis you need to talk to Dennis y'all need to heal this situation because it's, it is it, it's a doable thing you, it can be healed and you know Portia was like yeah yeah um I think um I'm going to do that and you know she was telling her mom about uh the new center had been opening and her mom gonna be like oh yeah I knew it was and I hadn't got a chance around like, what you doing you ain't doing that to Miss Diane for laying up in the bed eating and all that kind of stuff and watching PJ whenever Miss Gina not watching her Portia don't have what are you doing baby you don't have a job you're retired what are you doing every day Miss Mrs. um Diane that you aren't down there so you know Diane just full of shit too um moving on from her st uh, stupid cell uh let's see 
uh, Denzel's there. Uh, him and his mom are back. You know, like I say, chilling and stuff. And Mama's over there working. Mama Jana, and she was telling um, Dennis, let's have a talk. Let's talk about some things. And she was letting Dennis know, you know she want both of y'all. She wants you. She's still in love with you. And she still wants Simon, too. And, you know, Dennis just laughed it off and this this that and the third and you know mama Gina was saying you know she didn't really want to get dis disrespected the way she got disrespected by Portia and, and and she wasn't expecting that and I'm like yeah 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 Miss Gina we get it we got it good because you you ain't no uh, clean sheep out of this either you had your little times where you would screw in the the, the uh, screwdriver and Portia's back too uh, you was happy about what your son was doing, which, like I said, it really wasn't a bad thing for him to want somebody there as work, because Portia had somebody, you know what I'm saying? And as long as he kept the woman out of Portia's sight and out the camera, it could have been a doable thing, but like I said, and everybody said it too, well, not everybody, but most people that watch the show, that Portia's still in love with Dennis, and Simon knows this too, and he's willing to uh, play second fiddle for now. Because I'm still trying to figure out why he wanted to be on a reality show such as this anyway. Because he's not willing or able to show his business uh, where he goes and, and conducts business. And how, you know, let us see his employees or not. But just show us the structure, the building. People are in there doing something, you know what I'm saying? Which make it, it would make it more credible that he has something lucrative going on other than just investing. Uh, is what I'm getting um, the picture as he's doing. He's making a lot of his money in investments or trafficking or drug sales. I'm just saying. Okay. But anyway. Uh, then we have Lauren. Um, what's his name? Uh, we have Lauren comes over, uh, Portia's assistant, and they go down and uh, try to research or find Dennis's stuff because the people that be at Bravo has told her you need to give him his stuff before it becomes a legality for us. And so she couldn't do it when Dennis was asking her. She couldn't do it when her sisters them and cousin was asking her. She couldn't do it when everybody else. Um on her same level was telling her to give Dennis's stuff back now she had to be made by Bravo uh, to get that shit back to Dennis okay and we still didn't see the the uh, robe I don't know what happened to the robe or anything of that nature but um, even uh, Larry which is Miss Diane's boyfriend um, he was on the phone along with uh, Miss Diane when Diane was calling, checking on Portia and whatever. And she was saying what she was going to be doing or she was doing at the time. And, um, you know, making a joke. And Diane was, you know, going on with it saying, girl, I know Dennis got shit over there. Go on and get that man his stuff back, okay? I'm with Bravo. Which she really shouldn't have to had to say that. She should have, when they broke up, she should have said, Portia, get that stuff out of the house. Tell him come put it in storage or whatever or put it back in his house. But you don't have no business with that because I'm tired of that, okay? I don't want to hear that. And, you know, that would have been the better thing. But Portia got some... Uh, outside entity forcing her to do these things and even larry diane's uh boyfriend was saying no nah, dennis got stuff over there he got mail over there he got di dishes over there and then dennis was in his confessional he had an entertainment center over there he had a lot of stuff over there because they showed us so it's a it's a record and it's of pictures showing that she does have his stuff but so for some reason she just didn't want to give it back now she's forced to give it back so, um, that was pretty much it of the scene of, uh, what happened tonight. Like I said, the bigger pieces were, they showed us everything. But like I said, it was still kind of sketchy on what was really being shown to us because they didn't really zoom in. And I guess the reason why they couldn't zoom in because they had to stop somewhat filming a lot of the angles because they were trying to keep Storm separated from Dennis, Dennis separated from Portia, you know and miss gina getting in the mix of it all you know what i'm saying so but dennis did confirm and i do believe dennis that he felt portia was gonna lunge for his mother and he, she was in that lunging stance and he just wanted to get in between the two so nothing would happen that he have to you know be sorry for now how um miss um 
storm got in the midst of it i think she was just a part of a casualty she just jumped herself in it and she was getting hit by some of the blows and the scratches of people trying to separate them and this that and third and then it's just probably felt some kind of way and snatched her wig off <laughs> which the only thing he did was snatch his wig off her wig off she, she can't go to jail for that and evidently the law sided on dennis because she did in and everything both her and Storm trying to get Dennis arrested in Mexico. And Mexico was like, no, we can't hold him because there's nothing that happened. And then again, like I told y'all, you can't sue Bravo. That's in the clause. That's in the contracts. And that's something you can't do. And I actually have a video on that. I can't tell you where it said. If y'all really want to know, just go look for it. But the producers were like, girl, we're going to get our footage and we're going to get some exp explanations here. Somebody going to tell us something. Because Portia didn't want to film a scene trying to talk about what happened that she knew she was the catalyst in starting. And everything made it look like she was the problem. Which, in fact, she was the problem. She just didn't want it put out on her at that particular time. So she kind of got nasty with the producers and or the producer that, I, that was just shown there in that little clip that she didn't want to talk about it no more if they were finished with the scene or whatever then they need to wrap it up because she's done then she got up doing one of nini tricks and just walked off I'm like girl you ain't kim zoziac girl you a little darker all right stop showing your ass all right but that's all i had for this one y'all season one episode six um, they coming back with another one. I don't know. Shots, what's that to conclude? What are they showing us next week? Oh, my daughter says she's supposed to be, uh, checking, uh, Landy about why she said certain things. And, and then she's supposed to get into it with Dennis in a normal way. Uh, I guess a grown up way. And, and trying to end it, I guess. Because damn sure, I, if I were Bravo, I wouldn't be investing in a season two. You know, like some of the bloggers are out there saying they can do a, a wedding series of, uh, you know, leading up to the preparation of her wedding and getting married. They can do that. But I wouldn't touch a season two with the 10-foot pole. If it was my production company, hell no. Nah, I, mm -mm. I like, where my legal team at? Where's my legal team? Because everybody in this little circle talking about they traumatized. When people start saying they traumatized, that means they want to do something else. Like seek litigation. So you got Dom talking about he traumatized. You got, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Miss Lee is talking about she was traumatized. Then you got, uh, uh, Storm, she traumatized and she got marks on her face. So, you know, that, that's legality. That's work. That's money taken from them. So, they got to talk with the lawyers. And I'm pretty sure the lawyer, the legal team telling them, drop this. Drop this segment. Let's let it go on one more time. But we ain't renewing it. She ain't getting no, she ain't getting no spinoff. She, I mean, she ain't getting no second season. She might get a spinoff. But that's it. Because it, pretty much people just want to see her. Either she's going to get married to Simon or not. And the rest is just like, we don't even want to touch it with a 10-foot pole. Okay, we're going to put her in the same category. We got NeNe Leaks in. And if we have to keep, you know, getting ready. I mean, getting rid of um, our old housewives, our old G's. Well, hey, we, we must do so. We might bring in some more new people. Because where there's old, there's new. And I think that's how Bravo is, is pretty much trying to play it right now. But again, that's all I had for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Y'all like my commentary. And we will see y'all next time. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Okay, love you guys. Bye-bye.